Hey, what's up everyone, so welcome back to another video and today I'm gonna make a little test with you guys. I've got a little uh, video stabilizer for DSLRs. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, if it's gonna do something. I'm gonna put like here the DSLR and it should stabilize the videos. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but we're gonna uh, test it and we're gonna see. I'm gonna do like a video without this stabilizer and with this stabilizer I'm gonna try to do them as close as possible to each other's uh, so you can see really if this kind of stabilizers work or not because I, I did a video like two three videos back a video on a laptop which I have some shots that are not perfect and I know that they're not perfect this kind of stabilizers if they work then it will be very good because the video will be straight and will not be like rrr, 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 rrr. Uh, but let's try and uh, gonna see So for the final verdict, I think that it does it does work. It's not perfect, of course, but it does work, and it's a little better than uh, having the DSLR in the hands and doing a B-roll. It's not perfect because you're still holding uh, this this stabilizer with your hand, and it doesn't do like the most expensive stabilizers, where your handle stays in one place and the camera moves uh, alone. Here, if you move your hand, everything will move. What stabilizes the video itself is here at the bottom, the weights. They stabilize the video. You can place these weights even lower. Uh, you can see here, it has two more holes to make the weights even lower in case the video doesn't stabilize well or you want more weight because if, if you place the weights even lower, then it will be a bit heavier. Uh, but for me like this it's uh, it's already heavy here at the top you can as well uh, you can as well move your dslr wherever in which position you want you want it lower you want it uh, higher you want it in, in left or right whatever it's good that you can place your camera wherever you want uh, it's not perfect like i said but it's it was the cheapest that i found out there and i wanted to try the cheapest stabilizer in the market was around 20 euros 25 max maximum uh, and for that price you can't really ask for more of course if you're gonna pay 50 euros 100 euros if you're gonna get better stabilizers but uh, for me this is gonna do the job hopefully and you're not gonna walk into the street with this one in hand and oh I'm gonna I'm shooting something <laughs> I have here my tripod my camera now stays on the tripod but of course with the tripod you can't really do everything you want but with this one you have the camera in your hand and you move the camera as you want and as you wish but anyway thank you guys for watching and let me know in the comments if you saw any difference